I have one batch there, one batch there, one in the corner, and one here. This is, in my opinion, the best tasting banana you can find. I have one more dwarf namwa right here. The bananas are short and skinny. If you learn the right time to cut that flower, it's supposed to make the bananas even more tastier. These are the bananas that I've settled on. Hello everybody, today I am talking about not a tree, but a plant, an herb, a giant herb. As a matter of fact, the biggest herb in the world. It's called the banana plant. Yes, bananas can grow up to 30 feet tall and they look like trees because they grow as tall as trees. And I have a very interesting take on bananas because uh, I got rid of all my bananas at one point because they just became too much work for me to take care of them. But the original reason why I planted a banana was because you got so many bananas in such a short time, so much great food. So one of the negative things I've heard about growing them is you could buy bananas in the store, why would you grow them? I can't think of any fruit or any herb or whatever you want to refer to it as that tastes such different from a store-bought common variety to a tr one that you can grow in a tree. And there's a big difference in between mangoes that you grow buy in the store and mangoes you grow yourself and all these different types of fruits and even vegetables or herbs. But I can't think of one that's more different than the banana. The banana, store-bought banana is absolutely trash compared to these other bananas. So, when I was getting rid of all my bananas, there's one banana I just could not get rid of. And that was this one here. This was an apple banana, also known as a manzano banana, because manzano means apple in Spanish. There's over 500 varieties of bananas, and they're one of the easiest things to grow, just like a papaya tree. They grow quickly, and within two years from planting a little banana pup, you could have a rack of bananas. And they are just delicious. And I'm going to talk about some of my favorite varieties and why I decided to grow these and how I'm keeping them under control this time. Because when I first grew bananas, I didn't know or understand how to grow them. And I just let them grow in, they call them banana patches, where they just grew and took over and just got way out of control. The thing about bananas is once they grow a batch, they're usually not going to grow a second batch on the same stalk, so you got to cut the stalk. My issue was I had so many bananas growing in one patch, when it was time to cut the stalk, I couldn't even get to the stalk, let alone cut it. I couldn't swing a machete enough to get it because it was surrounded by other bananas. But even though bananas I were able to get, the problem was they would fall and I had other fruit trees too close. So that was creating a problem. So... I've researched and learned and I decided to try bananas again and to see how they'll go. Bananas take a lot of water or mulch and I'll show you what I do for my bananas. Uh, but this is one variety that I did not want to get rid of. This is called the, the apple banana as I said and they grow super tall, super tall. And they're not easy to take care of uh, from that aspect. But what I've learned is when you are controlling the banana pups or the bananas, you should only have three, one, two, three stalks at one time. They call them, I think, the, the mother, the baby, and the grandbaby, or something like that. We could say the mother, father, and the baby. Regardless, you should only have three stalks at one time. So as you see at the bottom here, new stalks start to grow, so you just gotta cut those to maintain those. Uh, so that's what I've been doing. So let me turn the camera around and show you this and some other bananas that, that I have. So what I did here in my front yard was I decided to resurrect the life of my apple bananas and move them. They were pretty easy to move because you pretty much just take a pup. They call it a pup. It's a pup that grows out of the bottom. You can move it and put it in the ground and it grows pretty easily. I have one batch there, one batch there, one in the corner, and one here. Surrounding my front yard, now these bananas, they do grow too high, and bananas can create an issue if you're growing other trees because of all the shade that they produce. So that has to be something to consider, and I also consider when I cut these down, I don't want them falling on another tree. But I wanted to experiment with these bananas again, 
and I have them in the three stalks this time and I keep one cut and I make sure I mulch these really really well all the time as a matter of fact all my food scraps my toilet scraps yes my toilet scraps as I do you manure everything goes in this pile and I put mulch over it and even when I take the leaves off the tree I mulch them here so I'm about to cut these pups these little pups now, if somebody wants them, you could take them out and sell them or give them to somebody else. But in my case, I just keep cutting them. And about once a month, I'll come and cut all little baby pups. And I'll cut all the, the leaves that are dead and clean it up. So I'll be cleaning this up today. And I use all of this for mulch. These leaves and everything I throw in the mulch pile. So that is the apple banana also known as the Monsanto banana. Now the average store-bought banana is called Cavendish, which actually, it's been in existence for quite a while now because there's another variety that was called Gros Michel uh, that went out, of, uh, went out of popularity because there was a disease that attacked all of those. So in the 50s, that was a common banana, the Gros Michel it was called, but now it's Cavendish. And now there's a disease threatening uh, the Cavendish banana, so they're going to have to find a new variety to replace this common variety. And some of these today I'm going to show you are candidates, but of the 500 different varieties out there, these are the few that I decided to plant, and I'll tell you why. So the first one here is the apple banana, also known as the Monsanto banana. And now let's take a look at some of the others. Okay, between my trees here, I have space because my trees are 10 feet apart and I took a tree out from there so it was 20 feet total and I decided to plant a banana in there in between and my neighbor has a dwarf variety called dwarf namwa and it tastes so much better than the average store-bought Cavendish but it doesn't grow tall because I didn't want the apple bananas to shade out my current trees so I have a dwarf namwa there and this was a good size, but it got knocked over and cut. But the thing is, the bananas grow in a root ball. And they start shooting up pups. It doesn't just stay one stalk. So this is already growing back that quickly. To get rid of the bananas, if you want to take them out, they're easy to cut the stalks. But to stop the pups from continuing to grow, you got to take out the root ball. And that's some work. you got to dig those out. But for now, I have the Dwarf Namwa here. So the two varieties I have are Dwarf Namwa and Apple Banana. There's another Dwarf Namwa variety that's growing. You see, I keep it really nice and mulch. Bananas like a lot of water. If you can't get water, get the mulch. I put the mulch on there. If you could do the mulch, bananas love mulch. Now, here's a variety back here that I'm not as concerned about it shading anything out. And this is a delicious variety banana. This is called Mysore. I'll put the names and the spelling below in the description. But that's a Mysore banana. This is, in my opinion, the best tasting banana you can find. The problem is it grows really tall. I don't know. It grows just as tall as the apple banana. I don't know which one grows taller, but... Apple banana and uh, Mysore, two excellent tasting bananas, and so is the Dwarf Namwa. But this is number one. This is Mysore, and they're smaller bananas. They're so worth it. So I have this banana tree here, and I have a few other Mysore bananas stalks, and I'll show you. Okay, here's another Dwarf Namwa. And I will be able to get the pups from these and move them around and replant them as time permits. Then I have one more dwarf namwa right here growing. That's a dwarf namwa. Now over here I have a stalk of mysore bananas. That are growing and there's three there as you can see 
these get water regularly from my from my dryer, I mean from my washing machine. So I use the gray water under the bananas, which is a great idea also. None of these bananas have produced yet. They're still young. This is a Mysore cutting that I took from what I just showed you. It's growing really nice. Whenever you see a stalk growing and there's only one, it's either a new planting or somebody's cutting the pups at the bottom. Now, recently, as recent as yesterday, a friend of mine gave me this banana that I tried and I liked and I just planted it. We'll see how it comes out. This is called a Lakaton, a Lakaton banana. I've tasted them. They're very common in the Philippines. They're called a dessert banana in the Philippines. So here's one Lakatan banana, and this will grow quite quickly. And then I planted a second one right over here. This is called a Lakatan. And when you take out the roots with the pups from the bananas, so it says roots under it. So you want to try to get the roots out. Those are the banana trees that I'm currently experimenting with. Now there's one more, uh, it's called an ice cream banana. Some people think the ice cream banana and a blue java banana are the same. I don't know, these ice cream bananas, they don't have that blue tint to them and it's, it's questionable if they are the same banana, but the ice cream banana had a really nice flavor. They just grew way too tall for me to plant. But I am considering planting uh, one in front of my house. Uh, just to have that variety. I like that variety. And as I taste new varieties, I've considered putting them in at least temporarily because I could always remove these, even though they're kind of a pain to move permanently so the root doesn't keep growing. But uh, I'd rather have these bananas than the store-bought bananas. And so I'm, I'm re-experimenting with the bananas in this yard in Mango Land. I'm not planting them as of now in my other yard. So I got too much stuff growing there, but this yard's mostly mangoes and I'm planting some bananas right now. Now, uh, these are the bananas that I've settled on. Again, the apple banana, the dwarf namwa, the mysore, the lakatan, and the ice cream. As I taste new bananas in the future, if I like them, I will consider putting them in. I have tried the red bananas. My taste, I don't particularly like them. I've tasted uh, several dwarf varieties of bananas, other dwarf varieties I didn't like, the Brazilian dwarf banana I didn't like, and some other people like them. Like all fruits, there's different varieties and different tastes, and some people like some, and some people like others. There's also a plantain, which is like a, a, a banana, or it is a, a variety of a banana that's used more for cooking, and that's one that uh, people enjoy as well. I'm going to go to my neighbor's yard now and show you some of his more mature banana trees that actually either have fruit or recently have fruit. Uh, and the wind just knocked down some of them. But I'm going to show you how tall these trees can actually grow and what happens if you don't take care of the pile because he hasn't been keeping <laughs> on them and the pups have been getting too big, the patches. But I'm feeling good about these bananas because as somebody who's growing for food, I don't want to waste space and once these trees grow so they're not shaded out, I can cut them, but that's what we're looking at now. So let's go ahead and take a look at my neighbor's trees right now. And this is also for reference for me. So if I ever lose the tags or to know what where one is, I have this video. Again, I have a lack of tan there I just put in, which is closest to the shed there. I have this dwarf namwa. I have this mysore. Another lacatan here. I have another lacatan there. And then in the middle there, I have a dwarf namwa. And between the trees against the wall, I have dwarf namwas. Now, coming towards the front of Mangaland, in the front, I have all my apple bananas. But I did recently, looking for a spot for bananas, plant another Mysore banana. They're just so delicious. I recently tasted them and I really wanted to get it in the ground. So I'll show you that one. 
and that's right here. That's another lack of tan. Now when I plant these tall bananas, I'm leaving space. I got space right there to drop it when I got to cut the stalks. And I'm going to do my best not to let that get more than three varieties. So let's go next door now and see my neighbor's yard. Okay, here's my neighbor's pile of Lakatan bananas. And as you can see, they're pretty tall. Unlike the apple bananas, these don't get fat. They stay tall and skinny. The bananas are short and skinny, but the apple bananas are interesting, are fat and short, but the, the they grow pretty tall. And you see how it got out of hand because he does not control the space, and there's way more than three pups here. And they'll continue to grow, and he just lost some because of the wind. Let's go look at his other banana trees. Okay, and this is his area of dwarf Namwa bananas, and you can see how much smaller they grow than the previous bananas, the Lakatons we just saw. This dwarf Namwa, that's the tallest it's going to get, and you can literally grab the batch with your hands when they're done, and they're easier to cut. These dwarf varieties are much more easier to maintain. So that's a dwarf Namwa, fully grown variety that should have a batch developing pretty soon. Now when a banana is developed, they develop a flower at the end. And if you learn the right time to cut that flower, it's supposed to make the bananas even more tastier. So some people at some point suggest cutting that flower off. But again, these are herbs. These are not fruit trees, even though they look like trees. Now here are some newer varieties that he's experimenting with. And he has them on the gray water. And these haven't produced yet. But you can see how much tall they are than the dwarf varieties. Here we are. In front, it's a little shady, but these are dwarf varieties. And again, once this flower produces, you'll be able to grab the bananas right here. They're not as tall as other bananas. That's why they're called a dwarf variety. And then finally, here are two new banana plants that he just planted in the front here. And again, in less than two years, maybe even a year, you'll have a stalk of bananas on there. Okay, everybody, that's the situation here with uh, the bananas. I've had a good amount of banana trees that I've taken out from this yard because I was so frustrated with the bananas and how they were growing, but it was really my fault because I wasn't taking care of them as, as well as I could have taken care of them. Uh, but... I don't have room for bananas in this yard anyway. <laughs> Everything's already tight in here. But I'm excited to get those bananas and I'd rather have something than nothing. And I had the space for them there. So again, it's an experiment that I'll see the way it turns out because I'm not 100% convinced that it's worth growing the bananas. We'll see how it goes. While I'm here and finishing, I'll show you one more. My neighbor has these bananas, which are called Brazilian Dwarf Bananas. And they don't grow much taller than that. I don't like those bananas. I would not plant those. But that's what they are. And you can see how they'll shade out trees if you don't stay up on them. I had just, at his wish, cut these out about five months ago, and that's how quickly they've grown back. You got to keep up on those. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Put your comments or questions below. Let me know what your best favorite banana variety is and why, and just your opinion about growing bananas, how it works for you or how it doesn't work, or whatever else you want to share about bananas. I hope you like this. If you are growing tropical trees uh, and you'd like me to come visit and feature you on the show, please 
contact me. The email's below. If you have comments or questions, put them below. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. Thank you very much, everybody. Have a great day and keep growing.